Hey guys, welcome to Bharti Yoga. I'm Bharti. Today we'll be doing a yoga practice that will help you to manage endometriosis and the associated pelvic pain. The aim of this practice is to open up and bring some mobility in the pelvic region, hips, lower back and the abdomen in order to increase blood circulation in the area. This will also help to reduce anxiety and stress. It'll be great if you can do this close to a wall and have a few cushions and maybe a blanket handy. Once you are ready, let's hop onto the mat and get going. Come into an easy cross-legged sitting position. You can place a blanket under your hips to help keep the back straight. Close your eyes. Adjust yourself so that you are sitting on your sit bones and do not have the tailbone tucked in. Straighten your spine and just take a couple of normal breaths here. We'll begin the practice with deep yogic breathing. Bring one hand to your belly and keep the other in chin mudra on your knee. As you inhale, feel your belly expand out. As you exhale, your belly goes in. Again, inhale, feel the air going all the way down to your perineum as your pelvic floor expands and the belly goes out. As you exhale fully, the pelvic floor lifts up and the belly goes in. Again, inhale, pelvic floor and the belly expand out. Exhale, pelvic floor and the belly go in. Now we'll add thoracic breathing to this. As you inhale, first let your pelvic floor and the belly expand fully and then inhale a bit more so that your chest goes out and up. As you exhale, your chest falls in and then the belly goes in, followed by the pelvic floor lifting up. Again, inhale, fill up your pelvic floor, belly and the chest with air. Exhale, the chest softens, followed by the belly and the pelvic floor. Inhale deeply, Exhale slowly. Once more. Inhale deeply all the way down to the perineum. Exhale, soften the chest, followed by the belly and the pelvic floor. Let's do a couple of more at your own pace. Now relax. Yogic breath is a great way to check in with your core muscles, correct poor breathing and increase the oxygen intake. Now open your eyes and let's come on to all fours into a tabletop position with your hands below your shoulders and knees below the hips. As you take a deep breath in, curve your lower spine and let your belly drop. Do not exert too much pressure on the abdomen. You can look up. As you exhale, push your hands into the ground, curl your back and look towards your navel. Again, inhale, curve up. Feel the air expand your belly and the pelvic floor. As you exhale, curl down, lifting the pelvic floor and the belly in. Again, Inhale up and expand the belly and the pelvic floor. Exhale, curl down and bring everything in. Let's do a few more of these at your own pace. Be mindful of your breath with each movement. Last one, inhale up, 
exhale curl down and then come back to neutral take a deep breath inhale and as you exhale push the floor with your feet to come into downward dog or adho mukh svanasana here let's keep the knees bent initially first straighten just the left knee and breathe into the left hamstring and the left calf muscle then bend the left knee and straighten the right knee breathe here let's walk the dog a few times at your own pace as you gently stretch the lower back hamstrings and the calf muscles if at any point you feel this is too much feel free to drop down to your knees and come into child's pose let's do a couple of more this is great for opening up the lower back and gently taking the weight away from the pelvic organs then finally straighten both your legs and get your heels down you can keep your legs a bit wide if that feels more comfortable now slowly start walking your feet in towards the hands and then gently roll up to come into a standing position now take both your feet out to come into a wide legged stance bring your hands to your hips take a deep breath in and straighten your spine as you exhale start folding forward and come all the way down to wide legged forward fold or prasarita padottanasana you can bring your hands on the floor or just bring them to your elbows and hang here for some time you can gently sway side to side if that feels good breathe into the stretch you feel in your hamstrings and the lower back then bring both the hands on to the floor bring your feet slightly in and slowly lower your hips down to come into full squat or malasana try to bring your heels to the floor if your heels do not reach the floor simply place a rolled blanket under them bring your palms together in front of your chest so that your elbows push against the inside of your knees in order to open up the hips you can also place your hands on the floor if balancing here is difficult now let's stay here in malasana for a few breaths you can practice your kegels while you are in this position As you inhale, let your pelvic floor expand down. As you exhale, lift the muscles and try to bring them up. Inhale, expand out. Exhale, bring them in. I like to think of this as an elevator going down with every inhalation and going up with every exhalation. slowly bring the hips down and relax here for a breath now lie down on your tummy with your legs straight keep your hands right next to the shoulders Then as you inhale 
raise your torso up to come into cobra pose. Stay here in Bhujangasana for a breath. Keep the shoulders relaxed and rolled back. Slowly come back. Again, as you inhale, raise your torso up to come into Cobra Pose. Then slowly bring your elbows down to come into Sphinx Pose. You can adjust your hands so that your elbows come below the shoulders. Keep your elbows tucked in close to the chest and stay here for a couple of breaths. Slowly come down and relax. Come up onto all fours and then push your hips back to come into child's pose. Widen your knees to make space for your abdomen and rest your forehead on the ground. Just take a few deep relaxing breaths into the stretch you feel in the lower back. Slowly come back up to sitting position. Now extend the left leg out and bend the right knee to bring the right foot on the inside of the left thigh. As you inhale, straighten your back and take your arms up. As you exhale, bend forward. You can hold the left foot with your hands or keep the hands on your left shin or on the mat. Keep the left foot flexed. Stay here for a few breaths as you feel a nice gentle stretch on your left hamstrings and the lower back. Slowly come back up. Switch your legs and repeat for the other side. Flex the right foot. Inhale and extend your spine. Exhale, fold forward. Today is going to be all about feeling relaxed and getting gentle stretches to release those contracted muscles. Slowly come back. Now take the left foot out as well to come into a wide-legged sitting position. Place your hands behind your hips to straighten your back and get your sitting bones grounded. Now as you inhale, take the right arm up and as you exhale, bend sideways to the left. Keep both your feet flexed so that the toes point up. Look up towards the ceiling. Slowly come back. Again, as you inhale, Extend the left arm up and as you exhale, bend to the right side. Stay here for a breath and come back. Then place both your hands in front of you and start folding forward from your hips. Stay as high or as low as comfortable. You can grab a couple of pillows and stack them in front of you and rest your forehead on the pillows. Keep both your feet flexed so that the toes are pointing up. Keep taking deep long breaths here.
slowly come back up. Now fold your knees and bring the soles of your feet together in front of you. Grab hold of them with your hands and pull the feet in slightly so that you feel a stretch in your inner thighs. Then as you inhale, straighten your back and as you exhale, fold forward. Keep your neck and shoulders relaxed. And stay here for a few breaths in Baddha Asana or the Butterfly Pose. You can place a couple of pillows below your thighs to support them if needed. This pose helps in stretching the pelvic region and increasing the blood circulation in the area. Keep taking deep breaths here. Slowly come up. Next, lie down on your back. Fold your knees and bring the soles of the feet on the ground. Keep the feet hip distance apart. Tuck your tailbone in so that you close the gap between your lower back and the mat. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, Slowly start raising the hips up to come into bridge pose or Setu Bandhasana. Inhale all the way down to expand the pelvic floor. Exhale, lift the pelvic in towards the navel as the belly goes in. Take two more breaths. Slowly come down one vertebrae at a time. Let's repeat this two more times. Inhale. And as you exhale, rise up. Stay for three breaths, breathing into the belly and the pelvic floor. And come back down. Last one. Inhale. And exhale to rise up. Setu Bandhasana is a restorative backbend that allows the spine to experience an extension while being supported. Slowly come back down. Very good. Now turn to your left side and slowly come up. Now let's go close to a wall. You can place a blanket on the floor for some padding. Then lie down on the floor and bring your feet up onto the wall. Then bend your knees and spread your legs to bring the outer edges of the feet on the wall so that the feet point outwards. Adjust yourself so that your hips are close to the wall. Feel the stretch in your inner thighs and the groin region and just breathe into it. You can just stay here for some time or if you want, you can also try to hold the outer edges of your feet to come into a full happy baby pose. You can rock side to side if that feels good. Otherwise, just stay with your feet on the wall. Relax the lower back and the shoulders and breathe into the stretch. Then slowly straighten your legs and take the feet towards the sky. Keep your knees soft and flex the toes so that they point towards your face. Relax the lower back and the shoulders. 
you can keep one hand on your belly and feel the breath going in and out here. This is a great rejuvenating pose to release the lower back. Slowly roll to one side and bring the feet down. We will end the practice with a restorative Supta Badakon Asana. Bring the soles of your feet together and let your knees fall out. Place one pillow each to support the knees. Then place one big pillow or two pillows behind you to support your back. You can place a blanket on top of the pillows to support your head. Slowly recline back and settle into Supta Baddha Konasana. You can place your hands on your lower abdomen as you rest here. Keep taking deep relaxing breaths here as you feel your tummy going up and down. Totally relax your feet, your ankles and your calf muscles. Let your knees and thighs melt into the pillows. Relax your hips and the lower back. Relax your chest and shoulders. Relax your elbows, your wrists and your fingers. Relax your neck. Soften your jaws. Soften the area between your eyes and just fully let go as you feel the air going in and out of your body. I'll leave you here. You can come out of the pose when you are ready. Take care and bye-bye.